Hello, welcome back to my third episode. Today we're going to talk about the Citizenship Amendment Bill, which was introduced in the year 2016 by the present government. We need to know what it has in store for us, and we need to know what we can expect from this bill, if it becomes an act very soon. Everything begins with the Assam Movement, or known as Assam Agitation, from 1979 till 1985. It was an uprising of people against the illegal immigrants in Assam. The movement was led by all Assam Students' Union and all Assam Gana Sangram Parishad. They were protesting against the government of India to identify and expel those illegal immigrants who were mostly from the Bangladesh. They demanded that the indigenous Assamese people be protected and provided the constitutional, the legislative and administrative rights. This movement resulted in killing of 860 people in the span of six years. The people laid down their lives to make Assam free from infiltration of illegal immigrants. This movement lasted from 1979 till 1985 until a popular accord known as the Assam Accord was signed on 15 August 1985 between the government of India under the prime ministership of Rajiv Gandhi and Assam Students' Union and all Assam Gana Sangram Parishad leaders. This Assam movement was very successful that it brought government of India to its knees to concede the demand of the protesters. The accord declared that any foreigners who came to Assam after 1st of January 1966 and up to 24th March 1971 shall be detected and their names will be deleted from electoral rolls until the completion of 10 years from the date of detection. But any foreigner who came to India after 25th March 1971 shall be continued to be detected, deleted and deported. The Supreme Court gave the order to update the National Register of Citizens, keeping March 24, 1971 as the base. The object of NRC update is to detect the Bangladeshi migrants who might have entered Assam illegally after the midnight of 24th March 1971, the date which was decided or and agreed upon in the Assam Accord. According to the Citizenship Act 1955, anyone who enters India with a forged documents or invalid visa, or anyone who has stayed in India beyond the limited visa, will be called illegal immigrants. However, the Citizenship Amendment Bill of 2016 seeks to change the definition of illegal immigrants mentioned in the Citizenship Act 1955. The purpose and the objective behind is to accommodate illegal migrants who belong to Hindus, the Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Parsi and Christian religions. Out of this, about 80% will be Hindus. This Citizenship Amendment Bill of 2016 contradicts the Agreement of Assam Accord where the NRC, the National Register of Citizens, is based, which says anyone who enters India after 1971 on the 24th of March, regardless of religion, shall be declared illegal immigrants. But if this bill is passed, then it will nullify Assam Accord so that there will be more non-Muslim illegal immigrants intruding into Assam state and most northeastern states. The states bordering Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan will be most affected. Northeastern states and its indigenous population could be overpowered by illegal immigrants. In short, the National Register of Citizens helped to deport illegal immigrants who are mostly of Bangladeshi Muslims but the Citizenship Amendment Bill will help bring more non-Muslim illegal immigrants only to become a regularized legal citizens of India. Therefore, there has been so much hue and cry of protest against the Citizenship Amendment Bill in Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Manipur and all other northeastern states, from the ordinary citizens till to the political leaders.